Shalom family trendsetter, all praises be to the most. I am driving so you'll hear some noise in the background. Now, I need some help with this particular passage in the Bible. If any Christian can help me with this particular passage in the Bible, John 3.16, which basically, I'm a paraphrase because I'm driving, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, the key thing is he gave his only begotten son. Now, I thought in um, Psalms chapter 2, verse 7, uh, King David was his begotten son But anyway um, That whosoever believeth in him should not perish But have everlasting life Now this is where I have a problem With this particular verse Because um, It states that if you believe in Jesus Christ right, You shall not perish But have everlasting life So I guess the question is this Okay for you believers who believe in Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, Yahushua, Yeshaya, right, the New Testament Savior, aren't y'all supposed to be living forever? Now, I know, I know, I know we've been taught in Christianity or in Christian churches that, you know, after you die, you know, you're resurrected from the dead and then you live eternally with Jesus Christ somewhere in paradise, right? I know we are taught that, but. It doesn't say this in this particular verse, family. And this is where I have the problem, man. I'm, now, I know I sound a little bit condescending and shit, but it says, for God so loved the world. Now, if he loved the world, right, and he gave his only begotten son, which was, I guess, in this case, it was Jesus Christ. Because in the Old Testament, you know, the begotten son was King David. And like I told y'all in many, many um, videos that they have plagiarized the Old Testament. Plagiarism means basically they copied or that he took from the Old Testament to create the New Testament so-called savior so-called man god right but he said if you believe in him you should not perish but the last time i checked right when i remember when i used to be a christian and i read the bible i believe they said john the baptist his head was beheaded i believe peter was hung upside down on the cross so didn't they perish we'll get back to that in a little bit so i have a question also to ask y'all right if you are a believer in jesus christ and I would like somebody to, to answer this question in the comment section, if you will. If you are believing in Jesus Christ, personally, do you expect blessings now or do you expect blessing later? Why do y'all throw your tithes and offerings? Most cases, y'all throw 10% of your tithes because you expect a return on that money, that investment, right? So I'm sure y'all not trying to get the shit when y'all die and meet Jesus Christ in the air, even though in the Bible, right, in this passage of the Bible that Jesus said, there's just some be standing here, shall not taste death until the Son of Man return in his kingdom. But all the people that was there standing, if y'all need the passage, I can put it down in the description if you want. But again, are you really and truly waiting for the second coming of Christ? Or many of y'all that go to church, y'all want to, you know, spare your lives from from death because the definition of perish right it says it right here suffer death typically in a violent sudden or untimely way now Jan the Baptist Peter all the other disciples that got martyred that was sudden death that was untimely I'm sure many of them didn't want to die because even Paul when Paul was confronted by the Romans Paul lied and said he was a Roman citizen but I guess in the Bible, he said also that he was from the tribe of Judah. He was an Israelite. But then he said, he, now I know a lot of y'all going to say, well, he was an Israelite. He was a proselyte, basically, because he was an Israelite that was that was a Roman citizen. Just like how many of us here, you know how people like to try to justify and spiritualize everything in the fucking Bible. But anyway, family, again, do you want to follow someone? Do you want right, to pick up your cross and follow Jesus Christ and meet death? Because not even Jesus Christ... You know was able to save his own life to the point where he when he was on the cross god himself said right if it's if it's if, if, it, if it's possible and i'm paraphrasing that as well if it's possible can a cup be passed from me so god god who knew he was going to die right because they said jesus is god and shit right you know family they said jesus is god so the god man knew he was going to die but yesterday he's crying like a bitch on the cross so it's that talking about can it can the cup be passed from you now i know i sound like a like an antichrist and they're like oh this guy's blaspheming and he's going to go to hell well yeah i've been doing this shit for a long time i'm still here you know what i'm saying the reason why i could do this family because i know that the new testament is bullshit it was made up by the roman catholic church constant nice they created the book you know what i'm saying the romans the same people that's supposed to crucify christ right the same romans that crucify y'all christ is the same one that came up with catholicism 
Christianity. They're the same one invented Christianity. And all the branches that that, that you guys are, are pretending to like uh, Methodist and Baptist and Pentecostal and all that shit. It all it is is branches from Catholicism. So again, at what point is Jesus going to start saving people? Because even though people in Charleston, South Carolina, that lost their life by Dylan Roof, I'm sure they did not want to have any any untimely death. I'm sure they went to church and served God and prayed, paid their tithes and offering and shit so they can have prosperity living on the earth. They're not going to buy big houses to, to, to expect death later on. They're not going to buy Bentleys and shit and BMWs and Mercedes Benz and, and, and don't want to enjoy the shit. So just please explain this passage in the Bible for me. Why did Jesus Christ lie? Why did he say if you believe in him, you shall not perish? And what is the definition of perish? Why did John the Baptist get beheaded? Peter got hung upside down. Why are many Christians dying on a, on a rapid pace? Please explain this to me. I'm asking you because I'm, I'm confused. I want to be 